What's up guys? Welcome back to Kerr Outdoors. So today I'm in Wyoming. I'm hunting. I've got a buck deer tag and me and my sister and my dad have all got doe antelope tags. About two years ago we decided to, uh, we decided as a family that we were just going to try and eat game meat that we harvested. So in order to do that we kind of had to step out of Utah and go somewhere else to find some more meat. And what we did was we came to Wyoming and We've been hunting deer and antelope here for the last three years, so I'm hoping to shoot a pretty big buck. Um, on the way in last night, we saw two tiny two points, like really tiny, just four corn. And I don't know, worst comes to worst, maybe if they're around tomorrow, which is our last day, then I'll shoot one, but I don't know. All right, well, stay tuned. The sun is rising up behind us, so we're gonna go get ready in our spot. We've got permission to go on some guy's field and everything, where his irrigated land is, so. Hopefully they come in there. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys. So right out there in that field. Okay, we've got, looks like three or four does. And we've got a two point. The two point is gonna be the one second to the left. You guys can see that, but I don't know. It's a little bit small. I think we're gonna drive around to another spot and see if there's anything bigger. shooting that. I mean, I'm really just in it for the meat. The antlers are really just like extra, but yeah, I don't know. It's got a pretty big body. So yeah, if I decide to shoot that buck, I'll pull you guys out and show you. So, alright, stay tuned. Alright guys, we've got a couple deer right here. That's pretty cool. There they go. Off in a little herd. Oh, there's another one. I don't know if you guys can see that one. Another doe just popped out right there. But, yeah, cool. Looks like we got five total. Yeah, there's that other doe. All right, well, stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, it has been a few hours since we saw those deer. It's now about 3 o'clock. And we just kind of came and glassed this little overview. And then there you kind of have it. This is kind of what the terrain looks like that we're dealing with. We only saw one doe deer and a buck antelope from a ways away, so... Yeah, I mean, it's going good. It seems like the deer in this area really only come out when it's either really early in the morning or really late at night, so it's these middle bits of the day when we don't really know what to do with ourselves. But All right, stay tuned for the evening hunt, and we're doing good. All right, guys, we'll find ourselves a vantage point, and we're out here right now just kind of glassing over a bunch of country, just trying to find up on that two point um, this morning but I kind of I don't know it was an expensive tag because we're non-residents so I think that if I see that tiny two point again that I'll probably shoot it just because I mean we've got to go home tomorrow morning I've got school the next day so yeah I don't know I, fig I figured that probably our best chance is at one of those two points we've seen three of them so if one of them decides to come out tonight, I'll, I think I'll take a shot. All right, well, we're going to see if we can glass up anything before then, and stay tuned.
Thanks. Jumped a two point. There. There you go. He's getting up. Wait, wait, wait. Here, let me hop over. Come on. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot him. Let's just give him a second to die. I think you got him. I can't really see very good. There he is over there. His head is sticking straight. Wait here for the next few minutes. Just make sure that he's dead. And then we'll head up and retrieve the buck. Like I said earlier, it's just a two point. It's just a tiny buck. I'm pretty sure it's the one that I passed on this morning, but yeah. I'd rather fill my tag and shoot a two point than go home empty handed. So, all right. behind where the buck is dead, so if he jumps up, I'll have to be careful on where I shoot him. is dead okay took a minute for him to stop breathing but he is dead so let's go check him out oh man <laughs> what a good little two point can you guys see that believe it or not folks this is the biggest buck of my life right now <laughs> it's the first one you ever shot with a Rifle, yeah, it's my first rifle buck. I've harvested two with my bow, and now this one. And man, he's a beauty. What a really cool buck. Man, that's awesome. 
I thumped him first shot, made a really good shot. Got a little bit too nervous the second one, so I botched that. And I didn't hit him at all, but yeah, it was good. Hopefully you guys were able to see a lot on the video, and come come check this guy out. He's got one eye guard on one side, a broken tine up here, and then a nice big two on that side. So, man, I'm thrilled. This is a big buck, at least to me. <laughs> man, that's pretty awesome. It's definitely a, I'm definitely happy to harvest a buck like this, so. Wow, well. This definitely is a hunt well worth it, and I'm glad that I paid the money for the tag and that we came all the way out. All right, well, we are going to get him ready and everything, quarter him out, get him in, get him on some ice. We've actually we bought some ice earlier, so we've got three bags of ice already in the cooler, so this will be perfect. I'll probably get a nice European mount done with this guy, so yeah, that's awesome. Man, I'm thrilled. All right, well. The fun's not quite over yet. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of the hunt, and we'll see if we can harvest ourselves some antelope tomorrow. Okay. Okay, guys. So there's my buck. We are fixing to just drag him up and over that pipe and into the bushes a few ways just because so we get him off this guy's like field and everything so his tractor doesn't run into any problems. We got my tag right here. We're going to tag him and... Drag them over there. We're probably going to do the gutless method. Just grab those quarters, the tenderloins, the back straps, and we'll be good. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to drag them over, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, guys. Well, it is very late at night, and we have finished um, quartering up my deer. As you can see down there, we've got quarters. We've got the head, and... We're good to go. Um, it's not too far from the truck, honestly. We're pushing about 400 yards, I bet, if that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, I don't know, carry it on our shoulders, and we'll head back to the truck. Okay? Thanks for watching.